All right, guys, keep it down. I'm going to do a video. Okay, good. All right, well, CMP, Central Main Power. Let's see what I need to know about smart meters and my choices. Yeah, yeah, hush. Anyways, they dropped by the other day, maybe a week ago, whatever, before, before we went to Salem, Mass. Some guy was knocking on the door. We're we're sleeping, so I don't know. It's it in the morning. Knock, knock, knock. And uh, jump up and get the door, and CMP's there. And he's gonna change the meter out right then. Takes about ten minutes. So CMP here to change your meter. Like, uh, wanna opt out, please? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, well, whatever. So, pretty nice guy, British guy. That was weird, but whatever. So if I hadn't been there, they would have changed my meter out anyway. And that's nothing I can do about it. So, so after the fact, they send me this stuff telling me about my options. And the standard wireless smart meter, which is standard, that's weird. That's what will be standard. Uh, option, it's not even an option, that's the non-option. <laughs> Smart meter with two-way wireless communication. You will get information and enjoy improved service at no extra cost. Check the box on the reply card and mail today. You don't have to do any of that, they'll just fucking slap it right in for you. If you don't do anything. So as if it's a choice. So that's two-way so it means they can talk to it. Why would they want to talk to it? I don't know. What are they going to tell it to do except shut off? All it can do is turn it on and off. And yes, they will have that ability. Otherwise, there's no reason to talk to it. What's it going to do? Nothing. Okay, but option A, which is an actual option, you can get a smart meter that's been modified, basically. It's been modified so that it is a one-way communication device where that they can talk to it, but it won't tell them. So it won't tell them what my power usage is or whatever. So they'll still have to come out and check it. And I don't know, they'll pop out a memory chip or whatever. It does store the information. It does. The, the, uh, the two-way meter does, and this one does. It stores the information. But they'll only be able to get it when they come out every two months. But they can communicate to it so they can shut it off. If they want to shut it off, they can shut it off whenever they want to. They don't have to come out here. So if you get a gun and say stay away from my pole, that don't mean shit. <laughs> they can just shut it off from where they are. <laughs> and of course the option that I'm going for, I don't even want an option at all. I just want them to leave me alone. But anyways, option B is uh, electro electromechanical meter, which I do have already. Everybody does. That means there's windings of copper wire that go around the uh, the conductor inside the meter to measure how much you how much you're using. Anyways, electromechanical meter with no wireless communications at all. CMP will read the total recorded electricity usage every two months before billing I mean for billing and send customers an estimated bill for the alternate alternate months so I gotta do that for both the house and the garage because I have service on the garage so you can get the one-way one where they can still shut off I think that's the whole point they want to be able to shut your power off without having to interface with you If there is a long-term uh, global, what do they call it, New World Order agenda, then yeah, maybe they'll sh shut appliances off or whatever, smart appliances, I don't know. That's just too much for me. I think they just want to be able to shut certain people's power off when they want to. And you can't really do that when there's a guy, if you're standing there with a gun leveled at the CMP guy, they're not going to be able to shut your power off, so they want to avoid that. I'm pretty sure.
that's where we're heading to anyways with the riots and whatever that's coming potentially anyway so yeah they were going to show up and swap that meter out and I would have been stuck with whatever crap they gave me oh and as far as the charges go I have to pay a one time charge of $40 let's just zoom in on that and a monthly charge of twelve dollars I already pay nine something per ser per each service and that's that's the a service that right there it's a meter but it's also called a service so I have two services and I already pay nine dollars each for that for each of those so on top of that I gotta pay twelve dollars <laughs> I mean for for them doing nothing at all I gotta pay twelve dollars <laughs> Give me a break. And that's and forty dollars one time fee for doing nothing. It's a heck of a racket. At the very least, they'll these are elect uh, they're not electromechanical, they are digital. That's so they uh, I guess they uh, they meter it digitally with some type of silicone device, silicone switching. You know, like transistor or whatever, instead of winds, windings of copper. So they're going to save on copper. But, I mean, that's nothing. They're, and, and they're doing all this because of some uh, utility update act or whatever by Congress. So it's some big agenda scheme. It's got, I mean, the power company probably don't even care. So it's something bigger than them. New World Order junk that we have no say in. Okay, baby, so when they come by, kick their ass, please. Thank you.